almost like it's not as professional. I, I just think it's very unprofessional. I probably just wouldn't pay them much attention to be honest though. I, I guess there's an element of professionalism, commerciality in there. Um, it, it would tend to put me off I think. Even on like a CV or something if someone's got a stupid hotmail name. Yeah. It's like there's no need for that. A website that uh, doesn't, you know, even bother to have its own email server. It's not a terribly difficult thing to do. So I mean, it, it just adds to that element of professionalism. Um, it just kind of seems like, well, if you don't have any commitment to um, setting up a company with a proper URL and all that sort of thing, then you're probably not that serious about it. That would be my impression. Yeah. yeah. I just think that they're hiding behind something rather than wanting to face up front up. I'd rather have the. Um, the organisation's email rather than going behind the scenes and through something else or through somebody else, yeah. I definitely find it weird if it is a .com email address, I'm always just like, okay, so you're like more of a multinational corporation rather than a local one. So it definitely does sway me. I would prefer a New Zealand email address. Yeah, I guess to me it kind of makes me wonder whether it's a legit company or yeah. not. You know, when, when you see someone with their own domain and their own email address, you kind of have a bit of confidence behind um, what they're doing and what they're providing um, and, and how they go about their business. Yep.